Hey guys, what's up? So today we're gonna be looking at funniest kid test answers, part four. So I've been doing these out of order, just like other funniest kid test answers around the YouTube community. But anyways, we're gonna be looking at some of the funniest kid test answers. And I hope you guys saw my latest health bluff. It's on both my crafting channel and my main channel. So go check those out. If you guys want to check them on my crafting channel, you guys can. Or you can check the ones here. It's basically the same video. But anyways, let's get on to Funniest Kid Test Answers Part 4. Words of the Week. Directions. Write as many words with the same pattern up. Truck. Lock. Buck. Duck. Tuck. Muck, F word, yuck, and stuck. <laughs> Could you think of any more? Hmm, let me think. Hmm. There's one word, but it's naughty, so I'm not going to say it. To change centimeters to meters, you take out centi. <laughs> yep. That's how English works, but not how math works. Yep, you just, I'm not even gonna bother. Draw a plant on and identify its most important parts. It has no windows and no iron bars, so technically it's in prison. You know, because plants can't move, they don't have bones like us humans. So that's why they don't, that's why they can't move. And also, plants can make their own food with the sunlight, unlike us humans where we have to hunt and cook our food and grow our food. Plants can do it themselves. Hard and soft water. Briefly explain what hard water is. Ice. Because, you know, a liquid, if it turns into a solid, it becomes ice. But if a solid becomes a liquid, it can be from ice to water. Get it? Yes, I know my physical science. Matter and, you know, solid, liquid, gas, elements, and, you know, all that is basically physical science. I learned that in my freshman year of high school. Why? I don't know. But it was pretty easy. Alright, Bob has 36 candy bars. He eats 29. What does he have now? Diabetes. Bob has diabetes. Alright, so there's... Alright, I know this one. It's... Alright, so, here, there's 7 left, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. He should have 7 candy bars left, but yes, he also has diabetes, because he ate so much sugar, because, you know, if you eat too, way too much sugar, you get diabetes. 2 plus 2 equals 4. I can do meth. Yes, everyone can do meth. You meant math. Nice. We, uh, teach a first grader how to, like, if you teach, teach a preschooler how to write, you get this awful letter. If you, you should not do sentence like writing until you're like in fourth grade. Well, in third, I didn't learn my solid figures until I was in second grade, and I didn't learn, back then, I was still struggling with my multiplication and division back in my elementary school. But during my fifth grade year, I started getting the hang of it. Now I know all my multiplication. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 34, 36, 38, 36, 40. Easy. You just, for, you just add. Multiplication is a similar way of adding now. I know my multiplication now. And I can thank my fourth grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade teacher. Because, you know, in third grade, I didn't even bother to do the multiplication. Because that's when I hated math. Now I love it. Because it's easy. Daily word problems. Marcus is the strongest kid in second grade. He used to lift 12 pounds, and I could lift 97 pounds. How much more can I lift now? Marcus is on steroids. Yes. Obviously. If he can lift 12 pounds, and then suddenly he can lift 97 when he's in second grade. He has to be on steroids, because, you know, only steroids could be the possible answer. Not like he could, not like in first grade he would start lifting weights in first grade, then started lifting them, like, often, 
and then this side lifting 97 pounds. But no, yeah, obviously steroids could also be an answer. Because, you know, obviously steroids. Now steroids can show up on tests. So now you can know if he's on steroids or not. Alright. Evan told his class that the people in his family have 14 legs altogether. Quentin said Evan must have some people in his family. Is Quentin correct? Explain why not. Yes, because 14 divided by 2 is 7, but not everyone has two legs. Go to www.warriorproject.org. <laughs> and guys, in case you didn't know, I did, I did find an actual website. Here's the link right here. I can also give it to you guys in the description. So, it is a true one. So, I searched it up and it actually shows what this guy, what this kid was sucking up. But it was kind of funny how he just put a link on there. <laughs> yep. Alright, so... I want, I want to know how he knew this website. What grade is this kid in anyway? Well, technically, it is the 21st century. Internet Explorer does exist, even though nobody uses Internet Explorer anymore. Look at me, I use Google Chrome now on my stuff now. I don't like Internet Explorer anymore. Even though I used to like it, I actually hated it now. Yeah. Because, you know, Microsoft is slowly trying to get rid of Internet Explorer altogether. Because, you know, now all the popular sites on Internet Explorer level won't work. So you can't go to YouTube.com and Internet Explorer. Search up YouTube.com and it will say it will immediately redirect you to Microsoft Edge because it will say YouTube is not supported on Internet Explorer. Why? I don't know. Why would Microsoft suddenly get rid of Internet Explorer? It was actually a popular site back in the 90s and the early 2000s. Microsoft made a lot of money on it, but then they're switching to Edge. This boy is ugly. Nope, he's well. He also sad, but he's not glad. But Judy decided to wrote to put a second option, which is C. Ugly. No, you don't judge a book by its cover, guys. Just because somebody doesn't look good doesn't mean they aren't good. Come on. You can you can make fun of anybody by their looks. But what's really important is what they are on the inside. Hey, what do you know? Trump is actually very ugly, but he achieved to become president even though I hate Trump. Trump achieved presidency. And it's not because of his looks. It's because he wanted to make America great because he convinced us. Well, technically, he proved us wrong. I mean, we... We out... You know, this is partly the reason why I did not vote for Trump. Because, you know, his presidency was completely awful. I'm glad that Biden won. Back in 2016, when even though I wasn't old enough to vote, I actually wanted to do Hillary. And guess what? I started making a lot of friends because I voted for Hillary Clinton. Because, you know, Trump wasn't really going to be the best president. Because, come on, look at what he did now. He's trying to ban TikTok. He's banning a very popular website because he wants, he thinks that no, that no site or, or app should be available from China, and he's also thinking about banning Fortnite. Now, when I, when Fortnite was, now Fortnite is so popular, because, because he did that, I wanted to, I almost wanted to kill him, but now, I know that murder is wrong, so I'm not going to kill anybody. If for any reason my answers aren't sufficient, I hope Perry the Platypus will convince you otherwise. Plus one. Yes, yes he did. In case you didn't know, this is a really good game. It requires Flash, which after December 31st, which will not be playable. But when I was in fourth grade, I used to play this game called Agent P Strikes Back. In case you didn't know what that is, Agent P Strikes Back is where Perry the Platypus, secret agent, goes around a place and goes and tries to stop a villain. Yeah, I'm not going to play it. It requires Flash, and the game has three levels, and it's like, 20 minutes long for each, so I will not be playing it, unless it's in the form of live stream, and I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it. It's not worth it. Besides, I don't do Disney content. In a word, describe school. Hell. Well, nope, school is not hell. I know a place that also is hell. The wither. It's the nether in Minecraft. Yep, go to the, if you guys go to the Nether in Minecraft, I I actually did go try to go to the Nether. It didn't take me to where I wanted to go. 
And also, I kept dying the last time I was there, so I just broke the portal and decided never to go back to the nether. I got all the stuff I need in Minecraft. I play Minecraft Survival now. I also occasionally play Creative, but it's not what I want anymore. Also, guys, watch my latest Minecraft live stream. Go to my Minecraft playlist, and I placed it on there. I'll be bringing it back. A lot of my old properties are being, I mean, some of my old properties are being considered for revivals. And I know that Health Wolf and Minecraft are on that list. Alright, extra credit. What does the strongest force on Earth? Love. Nope. Actually, no. In case you didn't, I hope you guys didn't watch the Henry Dejo episode Love Muffins. Because in case you know, hate is stronger than love. So technically, hate beats all. On Henry Danger, I will, I, this is going to be spoilers. So, skip forward if you guys don't want to hear this. But anyway, Henry was noticing that Ray was in love with this girl because of a love muffin. And the same reason why Henry was in love with Jasper. Hint, that's gay love. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to criticize it. But Henry decided to break Henry, Henry decided to break Ray's love spell by making him hate Henry. And so, after a little bit of fighting, the spell wore off and Ray was back to normal after he fainted a bit. And so, he's not in love with them anymore because hate beats love. Parent signature. Mom! What is your parent's name? You know, if I was going to forge a signature back when I was in kindergarten, yes, I would put mom on there. But I am... I know my mom's name, and I know that forging documents is wrong. However, if, some, if it's necessary, and I don't want my parents to see what what I wrote, or if it's a bad report card, I would do it myself. But you would never write "mom" on the signature. Then the teacher would automatically know it's a it's you that wrote it, not your mom. So yeah, don't forge a signature unless you know your mom's name and it's your sig and you know her signature. In case you didn't know, it's 2020, so obviously every almost everybody's signature is basically a squiggle. That's not my signature. My when I was told, my signature is basically like a cursive name of mine. It's my name in cursive handwriting because I'm too lazy to put my own signature. That's basically my signature. All right, that's why I, that's how I did it. Why is the ring decided? Because like God liked it, so we put a ring on it. Saturn was not a single lady. <laughs> but anyways, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys want a fifth, if you guys want a fifth part of Finding Kitchen Dances, please hit the like button and the face, and of course subscribe to my channel. Oh, and and don't worry, I will link the link from the WarriorProject.org on the description below. So it's very positive. And anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.